Todd McShay's latest mock draft is out post combine. We got some serious changes to discuss. After impressing an indie, Saquon Barkley moves up from four to two with the G-men. QB Sam Darnold and Josh Allen hold steady with Cleveland and New York, respectively. But two quarterbacks fall after the combine. Baker Mayfield drops six spots from five to 11 in the Finns. Josh Rosen falls all the way from two to 15 with the Cardinals. Here is the man himself. Good to see you. Appreciate the time. Know to you're be busy. Here. I'm starting with Rosen here because reports are rampant that there's a ton of red flags. We saw the drop off in your mock draft. Why has he fallen off so much? Well, there, there are red flags in that you have to try to figure out if you can coach him, if he's coachable, and what kind of teammate he's going to be when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. And does he need football and love football? I, there are some teams that believe in him, and there are some teams that are, are very hesitant about him. I think Rosen still winds up going in the top 10. And yes, I have him at 15, yep. but like we've seen the last two years, five, five times teams have moved up to go get quarterbacks. We can't move picks around in these mm -hmm. mock drafts because evidently there are rules in the mock draft world <laughs> that Kuiper established dozens of years uh, ago. Kuiper, you're the best. But, uh, but I really think Arizona, that would be a situation where they would move yeah. in somewhere like the 7 to 10 in that range to go get Rosen. But it's not his skills. It's all the off the field, the attitude, that type vast of vast majority. I mean, okay. he's, he's got some mobility issues, and, and there are a couple things in his game. But I think if he doesn't go in the top 10 picks, it will mm -hmm. be because teams are hesitant because of, the, of, of who he is. Yes. Stephen A.? Well, for me, uh, you know, I know, uh, you know, you've got your mock draft, and obviously you got Sam Donald number one, and uh, Mel Kuyper, he had uh, Josh Allen number one uh, at least, uh, you know, more than a week ago or so. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's the drop-off. Could you talk to me about why you've got a Donald at number one and a Josh Allen at number six, but in somebody else's mock draft, like a Mel or somebody else, Josh Allen would be number one. What's the flip-flop? What's going on with all the, with, with the two of these guys at the quarterback spot, anywhere from one to six, that kind of gap? What's going on there? Yeah, Stephen, I, I think it really will come down to Allen and Sam Darnold. And with Allen, you're betting on the upside. You're betting on what he could be if he continues to, de uh, to develop his feet and become more consistent with his accuracy. I don't know how much of the combine you watch, but it doesn't take a super scout to figure out this guy has arm talent that is rare. And... So if you, if you take him, you're taking a guy that's had a couple shoulder injuries. He's coming from smaller, smaller level of competition, lower level. And most importantly, the accuracy has been inconsistent. Darnold, yeah, there's some turnover issues on, on his tape, but he is a magician in the pocket. And his makeup is outstanding. And he's been durable throughout his career and has a big, thick, strong frame. So you're, to me, he's the safest. Well, he's also the best quarterback of the group, in my opinion. But he's also the safest. And that's why I think if you're the Browns and you're sitting there and you can't miss on this pick, you cannot three years down the road say, you know what, we're moving on. we got to get another quarterback. To me, Darnold is the safest. Now, if you want to go with the best player in the draft, that's Saquon Barkley. And if A.J. McCarron is, is brought in by Cleveland, then maybe it becomes Barkley, and then you take a quarterback at number four, a little bit like the Bears did with Mike Glennon and Mitch Trubisky last year. Uh, but if, if you're sitting there at one and you don't have a quarterback through free agency, I think Sam Darnold is the right play.